It's definitely got something on. It is unusual to see a swan on the road. He looked absolutely exhausted, and he was in real danger of being hit by an oncoming car. When I got closer to the swan, he appeared very disorientated, and he was not within walking distance of any lakes. I don't think he'll fight you too much, because I think he's quite weak. I then guided him towards a garden and away from the road. Okay, nice. Being dead, I can really read body language phenomenally well. And that's probably why I have such a close understanding with animals. I discovered that IKEA shopping bags make ideal swan carry bags. I thought it was best to take him to the Kent Wildlife Rescues Clinic. Snowflake the swan was quite well, but had a slight fever. After a few days, I visited him and he was doing so much better. I had to find a suitable lake that I felt that was possibly his home, and there was a nice group of healthy looking swans on it. When we arrived at the lake, I was quite nervous. I carried him down in his Ikea bag and lowered him very close to the lake. He started to vocalise and try to flap his wings within the bag. Suddenly, I saw a group of swans heading towards us. When they got really close to the edge, he was really, really more excited now. I moved back to allow nature to take its course. He jumped into the water, really confident. Snowflake made his way over to a rather lonely looking female and they made a display of courtship, which is basically where the necks can form a heart. Oh my goodness, it's his mate! It was absolutely a miracle to watch, a true fairy tale. I feel most at home with wildlife. My little superpower enables me to really understand them. And while I might not have hearing, I have a voice, and I will always be a voice for the voiceless.